Okay, this little video is to demonstrate the Mr. RC Sound Unit, an electronic sound module for radio control planes. This is my Artec 86 Texan, also known as a Harvard, which is sold with an optional sound unit um, by Artec. Um, now I've not spoken to anyone with one of those fitted um, to know the the quality of it and the sound produced etc but this is Andrew's uh, the Mr RC sound unit here he sorted me out with one fairly recently which I've fitted yesterday Andrew's been working all hours on this thing to get it up together and it is proving to be a very popular sound unit for well any plane of course but typically the foamy warbirds that you see here this one's about 1300 mil wingspan um, the the popular FMS range 1400 mil span warbirds this uh, sound unit is perfect for those so I fitted it in here you can see the board in fact I'll just uh, move the plane into the sunshine a bit or hopefully get a bit more light on it yeah there you go there's the board in all its glory sitting nicely in the pilot's footwell now admittedly you have to perform a bit of surgery on the poor pilot you see his legs have been chopped at the knees but apart from that he doesn't seem to mind too much so you can see the soundboard there the speaker is in the position that's in this particular plane because it's sold with the optional sound unit in mind there's already a, a speaker hole cut in the wing now it takes a little bit of enlarging to fit Andrew's speaker but what you can see there is the mesh that Andrew supplies just to cover the hole in this case it's just taped on and then painted to match the rest of the plane so obviously not much to obscure any sound coming from the speaker installation was fairly straightforward I would guess a couple of hours saw it done um, not too much head scratching to be done really and it's all yeah it's all pretty easy to fit the sound unit is supplied with the board velcro to the to the speaker um, which is in a plastic case but you can obviously separate the two as I've done here to facilitate any installation depending on the plane you've got um, and yeah it's a very good unit a very very good unit well done Andrew well done that man now I've already got the battery connected the lead here you see comes with the unit and you can either make up a power Y harness or you can do as I've done I've just soldered these leads to the ESC connectors I've got the blue EC3 connectors uh, here so I've just soldered those into the ESC one of those and the trick is to power up the receiver first you can see I've already done that before you connect the sound unit and that's just so that the sound unit can then learn the throttle positions from the powered up receiver okay so I'm gonna place the camera over there and I'll connect it up okay cameras on the tripod uh, excuse me sniffling and husky voice I've got a stinking cold that's hit me just in time for my uh, birthday tomorrow never mind okay so connecting up the sound unit is just a straightforward connection of the red JSTs airplane 5 and that uh, voice you heard there just lets you know which engine sound you've chosen you've got six to choose from on this particular unit number five being the Pratt & Whitney Double Wasp and uh, here we go let's see what happens
Okay, fairly loud. The noise levels are around the 90 decibel mark, I believe. Um, off the top of my head, I think that's right. Um, now, one trick on Andrew's recommendation is to mix the motor power, throttle lever, in with an auxiliary channel, in this case a side lever. This is the JRDSX9 transmitter. And by doing that, you can get the motor started up and on tick over with the throttle stick in its lowest position. So obviously when you're flying, particularly coming into land, it's good to um, to have the engine ticking over even if you knock the throttle stick right back because that way you're not going to initiate the shutdown sequence while the plane is in the air. So I'll just show you that here. So that's a, a good tip from Andrew there. Uh, to, if you can, if you've got a transmitter with that capability, is to mix in the throttle stick with a side lever or, or rotating dial, um, and then that will help you just maintain that uh, the idle sound without actually stopping the motor. Now at the moment the shutdown sequence isn't spot on. I've got some tweaking to do, but for the time being, I just wanted to show you the uh, the Mr. RC sound unit in my little Texan here. So thanks for watching. There's details of the unit on my website. I'll uh, post the web page address at the end of this vid. And there you go. If you've got a, a foamy warbird or similar, just get yourself one of these units because they really are great. Hats off to Andrew for doing a great job.